Only on two at six, a mother working to solve how her child was injured. She says he came home from school like this, and now she wants answers. Where is the teacher? Where is somebody to, you know, explain what's going on with my son? The five year old boy attends Woodson Elementary School in HISD. That is where KPRC 2's Taisha Walker is live tonight with that story only on two. Taisha. That mom tells me she had concerns initially about enrolling her son in the school behind me, but says since this is his own school, they moved forward with it. But she says after yesterday's incident, she's thinking of withdrawing her son. I want answers. So what happened to my son? Natasha Silas says she's frustrated. She's not getting straight answers from Woodson Elementary School as to how her five year old son, Timothy, received this forehead injury during school yesterday. I've heard that he was just sitting down and he slid out of his chair. I heard that it was just in the highway on restroom break. Silas says she demanded to speak with her son's teacher. She has stepped out for a break for the restroom and I guess they were left there on the line. And she just came out. She pretty much heard him crying. My son told me out of his own mouth that someone pushed him, you know, and then he fell into the, you know, he fell into the, you know, um, this little iron yellow thing that they have in the hallway or something like, I guess it's like a bench or whatever. Silas says she took her son to the hospital to get an x-ray. They said it has like so much blood just clogged up in one spot. So by us using the ice packs, it would help, but do not freak out when, you know, it looks like, you know, the, the knot kind of goes down. It makes him look like he has black eyes. HISD issued a statement saying, quote, Woodson Campus Administration is aware of the incident and district protocols were followed as it pertains assisting the student and notifying the parent. Due to the Family Education Rights Pri Privacy Act, FERPA, we are unable to provide additional details. That's the latest information that we have here from Sunnyside. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC, to news.